Hello everybody, Adam Rucker here and I am super excited because today is Sunday, June 21st and Sunday, Sunday number 185. 185 episodes is quite a few and I think a few of you have been around for all of them. If you've been around that long, I gotta say thank you so, 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 so much. So in that span of time, a lot of things have changed and I was at my parents the other day and I found all of my original cell phones and mp3 players and all of the electronics that I used to be totally attached to and obsessed with and so I thought it would be fun today to take a journey back in time to see what um, what technology and innovation used to look like so I think I'm gonna start with my very first mp3 player. Now for uh, young people out there, there were things called mp3 players before there were iPods or iPhones. This is the first evolution like after the Sony Walkman or the portable CD players. We had <clears throat> mp3 players. So this is it. It's called the Creative Nomad and it ran on, it looks like, I can't open it. It was AAA batteries. It had a tiny, tiny little screen and little icons that would pop up. It was basically like a calculator screen. And I remember very clearly, the storage on this was 32 megabytes. Megabytes, so if you think about phones having like 256 gigs or more now. This had 32 megabytes. So I remember being really excited to tell my mom that I got 12 songs on my MP3 player. And I'm pretty sure I downloaded them from Napster or Bearshare or Lime, LimeWire. But it was really exciting because it could be any 12 songs. It didn't have to just be one CD like we were used to in the portable CD players. It could be any 12. So I remember, for some reason, I remember listening to Ricky Martin and Christina Aguilera's, um, oh, what was it called? Nobody Wants to Be Lonely. <laughs> wow, I used to love listening to that on here. Oh, it, it you could do a voice recorder too. That was a really big selling point. So. Anyway, wow, this is a journey. So that's my first MP3 player. And then of course, you know, we got um, iPods and I think, yeah, this is my very first iPod. So I didn't have um, one of the first ones, like some of these click wheels actually moved. Um, the first iPod that I got was the iPod Photo. So the cool thing about this was that it had a color screen and you could download your photos to it. Now we had to plug plug it in, with this huge, huge plug adapter, into iTunes and download your photos to it. Same with music, everything had to be plugged in. There was no over the air buying, there was no iTunes, there was no like iTunes, well there was an iTunes store, but it wasn't wireless. So it only held photos, you couldn't do video, it was, State of the art at the time I got this for high school graduation in 2005. That was really exciting. Um, and I would show people like, did you wanna see my photos from my trip that I took on my digital camera? Let me just It was, I love the iPod. I wish the iPod, honestly, I wish the iPod was still around. So that was that, but now let's get to the exciting part. You guys, cell phones were so crazy. And some of these cell phones, I have to say, are still beloved to me. So my very first cell phone was this Nokia music phone. It was called the Nokia music phone and it had a full button keyboard. Um, the ear, you held it like this. So the ear speaker was here and then the mic was down here. And it held considerably more music. Uh, it was not a gig, but it was definitely not 32 megabytes. And you could, again, you could download music to it. And this was the first phone that I'm aware of that you could use a song as a ringtone. So I would really throw people for a loop if we were out and my phone rang and it was Hannah Montana, Hillary Duff, Miley Cyrus. Um, and I would, you know, answer it. Hello, beep beep, this is my music phone. 
Sorry, my music phone went off. Plays music for the rings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most of the time I was telling people to call me so that I could have the music go off, but this was really where my texting habit started. I mean, I could still text blindly with this keyboard. It was so great. It had, you know, a couple games on it, standard Nokia square screen. This was in color, obviously. But um, yeah, this, this was a great phone and it's little, it's compact, it fits in your pocket. Oh, I love it so much. You know, obviously the iPhone is gold standard at this point, but my favorite phone, my favorite phone of all time to have was the T-Mobile Sidekick 2. So my best friend Logan and I, we were watching something and like Lindsay Lohan was on it and she had this. And we were like, I think we need those. So somehow we convinced our parents to get us T-Mobile Sidekicks. And you know, if you haven't seen a Sidekick before, get ready. This was the, the all time coolest thing that ever happened to a cell phone. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how if you're like chilling in a line somewhere or just in public, how this really just, people would be like, what, is that the Paris Hilton phone? And you'd be like, sorry, it's <laughs> my Lindsay Lohan phone, yes. Again, I could text blind with this keyboard. I loved having the actual buttons. Also, this was the first unlimited text plan, thank goodness, because I texted a lot. This also had an AOL Instant Messenger app on it, so you could get on your Instant Messenger from anywhere in the world where most people were stuck at home, instant messaging on their desktop computers. But I was like, sorry, I'm at Six Flags, BRB. Anyway, it was really state of the art for for the time and and again you would just hold it like this as a phone the speaker was really loud i mean you could change the bumpers <laughs> that's why i have a red and blue bumper um it was it was something else i i loved this phone and my favorite thing about it was logan and i both had this game uh this game called battleship i'm sure you've heard of it but you could play back and forth so it would send it like a tech like it'd send your move like a text and then you'd play back and forth. I still haven't had, still haven't seen an iPhone app that's duplicated Battleship quite as good as the T-Mobile Sidekick. So we had this and we had this. And then I found this, I had forgotten that this era happened. So I loved unlimited texting so much, but I was on the family voice plan. So I had a flip phone to speak on and the T-Mobile Sidekick to text on. So I had to tell friends, like, call me on this number, text me on this number. I mean, it was the epitome of too much. I, I mean, I was fully too much. So I was walking around with two, two cell phones like I'm some like 15 year old businessman. It, it was ridiculous. I didn't love this phone that much because it, it I mean, it truly was just a phone, but there was something about having the two phones that really made me feel, um, it just really made me feel special. Now looking back, it was obviously ridiculous. And then of course, you know, we all upgraded to the iPhone. So this iPhone, I think is the 3GS, let me see. It doesn't say, it was a 16 gig. So the, the phone that I'm recording this on, the iPhone, um, how do I not know what the iPhone is called? Whatever the latest iPhone is, Pro X, Pro Max, um, is huge. And this was just a little bitty baby. It looked kind of like an iPod, plastic back, 16 gigs. And I loved this phone too. I do miss about the iPhones when they were just small and really compact. I wish they made iPhones that small again, but then again, I love Macs. I don't know, it's hard to keep up. And then this was one of the, the newer ones. It was a little bit bigger, had the straight edges. Um, again, 
they're just great phones. I know that you can recycle them, but for some reason I just like having these around. Um, they don't really do me any good at this point, obviously, but it's just fun to see how we've grown and changed over the years. I miss this one so much. I mean, do you remember when Paris Hilton would just be like, Tsh. and of course hers was like bedazzled with rhinestones and things, but wow. So I'm curious what your guys' first phones were. I'm sure some of you are like, my first phone was an iPhone 10, which is great for you. I'm thrilled for you. But you know, for those of us who started with a phone that literally did not access the internet, um, or, you know, an iPod <laughs> that couldn't play videos or purchase music. I think that's the biggest innovation that Apple made was the ability to download and purchase music from the device itself. I remember the first time I read an article about that and I thought, how are they beaming a song through the air, through the sky to my iPod? That makes no sense. And then, you know, here we are with everything beaming through the air at our phones. So anyway, I loved this journey back through time. Leave a comment with what your first phone was, with what your first iPod was, and let me know um, what you think. Would you prefer a T-Mobile Sidekick 2 or the Nokia Music Phone? Thanks you guys for watching all of this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see more Sunday Sundays in the future. And you can click, I think it's a thumbs up now. Remember when it was five stars? I miss five star days. Uh, but click the thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, and I will be back for more Sunday Sundays, 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 Sundays. Thanks everybody, and make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm posting my um, chips. Uh, 2020 is the year of chips. I'm trying all sorts of chips. So also, if you have any chip recommendations, leave them below. I will be posting my chip reviews continuously throughout the year. And uh, that's all I got. We'll see you next time. Bye.